Now, I don't know about you, but I was never good at real hula hooping, so I love the concept of the smart hula hoop where the hoop never falls. Hey guys, welcome back to another As Seen by SB video where I let you know whether a product's worth the investment or not. And today, I am featuring another version of the weighted smart hula hoop. Now, I previously did a review on another weighted smart hula hoop that I wasn't completely sold on as there are a ton of them out there on the market, as you will see, as this has become increasingly popular on Instagram and TikTok. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get the most of this weighted smart hula hoop, as well as the pros and cons. But first, let's make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new products that I may review that may be of interest to you. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you find this video helpful to you, I would totally appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to check the description box below for the links to purchase this product and the other products in this video. But for now, let's get on to the review. So before I show you how to use this, I just want to give you a few details so you know exactly what you're purchasing. All right, so this is what this looks like. The unit weighs a little bit over three pounds. It has this weighted ball, these detachable links, and it's designed to fit a waist between 23 and 51 inches. All right, so what I noticed right off the bat is that this includes this data tracker, so you can track your exercises, including your calories, the laps, and your duration of your exercise. I also like that the sliding track fits on the outside, which seems to make for a smoother glide. Also, what stands out from the competition is that instead of the hard plastic massage balls, this uses silicone massage heads. And lastly, unlike most, you're able to increase or decrease the weight of this gravity ball as it comes with two weighted discs that weigh a little bit under a pound, and I'll show you that in a bit. So to adjust the gravity ball, you will need your basic hexagon screwdriver to then unscrew the sphere, and then you can remove or add the weighted disc. So now that I unscrew the sphere, this is what the weighted disc look like. And as I mentioned, they weigh a little bit under a pound. And you're also able to adjust the length of the weighted ball. Now to reattach or detach any of these links here, you wanna make sure you press down this button. And once you press it down, you give it a tug and then it comes out and you can individually release each of these links. The one thing to be sure of when you're reattaching it is to make sure that it's aligned with these grooves here. Press the button down again. And it easily slides back in. But of course, before you get started, you just wanna make sure that you insert this slider here and all you do is it fits on the outside. It has these wheels. Align it and just slide it on in. And now we're ready to go. Now, I don't know about you, but I was never good at real hula hooping. So I love the concept of this smart hula hoop where the hoop never falls. But there are a few basic techniques that you should follow to allow the centrifugal force to keep this gravity ball rotating at an effective speed. Now, first you wanna get into a stance where you put one foot in front of the other so that you're able to rock forward and backwards. You then spin the ball clockwise with your left foot as your dominant foot in front. And if you're going counterclockwise, you wanna have your right foot as the dominant foot. But be sure to work out with the ball going clockwise and counterclockwise for any distribution. As I mentioned before, this is what makes this smart hula hoop so great because you will really get a good workout, not only with your abs, but also your quads, hips, hamstrings, and your calves. Just make sure that you engage your ab muscles while doing this and that you're going at a speed that's comfortable for you. Your next option is to have your feet spread apart so that you're able to rock side to side. Now they do suggest 30 minute workout sessions once every four days or once every one to two days to really notice a difference. But you will definitely feel the burn even doing 10 to 15 minute sessions because you burn up to two to three times more calories than using a regular food. There's so many options using this technique. I like incorporating a skipping motion because this will really help to engage multiple muscle groups and it also allows you to control the rotation of the ball even better. You can even incorporate a resistance band to work out your leg muscles even more. And if you want to get even more creative, you can incorporate some squat dips while doing this as well for a total body workout. All right, so now let's go over a few pros and cons. Now starting off with the pros, I actually already mentioned quite a few earlier, but I love this data tracker because it helps to motivate me to go even longer. Now, as I mentioned in my previous hula hoop review video, I didn't like that it had those hard plastic massage balls, but these have the silicone massage heads and it feels a lot better on your skin. I also love the fact that this is lightweight and portable, so you can easily travel with this if you want to. And the fact that you can increase or decrease the weight of this gravity ball based on your comfortability. And lastly, I got a really good workout even in this short time recording this video, and this is actually a fun aerobic exercise. And now for the cons, admittedly, I don't have that many, but just like I mentioned in my previous hula hoop video, the same cons still exist. This thing is loud. I mean, I did realize, however, that across the board, all of these smart hula hoops make this sound because of this sliding track. 
So if that's not a deal breaker for you, this is definitely something worth adding to your home workout collection. All right, so let me know in the comments section if you guys have any questions or what you think of the concept of a smart room key. And if you're interested in learning about other home workout equipment that I use that I know will help you to get in shape, be sure to check out my workout playlist that I've attached. But as always, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, as seen by SB, where I let you know whether a product's worth the investment or not, this smart weighted hula hoop is definitely SB approved. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But until next time, stay fit and take care.